in for the other document i just simply put there and i click on item for name yeah i will get it okay so what is my method all about to relate with this that you have learned yeah so i already developed the style for your thesis formatting so that if you want to do your formatting you don't have to create the style you just simply type what you want and click on the style that already developed for you yeah 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 okay okay you you, you can get it i think uh, the organizer will give you the record of this session i i think at the same time i will uh, upload this uh, 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 video on my youtube channel i think better uh, uh one one better for for me to do that you know so that you don't have to store the the the, the recording yeah sure sure i will give, already uh, provide you the link of my youtube uh, this one get it okay i have another one my friend yeah okay he he, he got some of the the video as well me go to shafi he is in this room as well yeah um and another one is um dr wanzuki there are now three of us producing the the video for this idea and one more i think dr nawawi oh it's there but majority of of the video is from uh me uh mama zuli and one zuki yeah yeah with uh okay now uh, this is him dr um uh, with uh yeah 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 this is the one dr nawawi i, I think i already made myself clear with this time okay now the the second part is how to uh, fully utilize the style okay maybe some of you now already clear okay maybe you have an idea how to create the style but i i suggest you uh if your university are free with uh miscellaneous requirement on formatting you can create your own style okay say for example if you want to make uh, the style with number all right i i want to clear this yeah i want to clear this all right uh, say i i okay the next setting yeah the next setting that you need to uh do okay, can you see my screen now still on microsoft word yeah yes yes i'm, I'm not ah, okay good good okay good i think uh all the time uh, uh you you maintain seeing uh, my microsoft word yeah not other material just want to make yourself clear okay good okay now um the next step that you need to do is to activate the 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 the, um, the, the item on this side yeah uh, on this one is on your right and on your left yeah on your left you must have what we call navigation pane okay now i want to remove this i want to remove this uh with uh with clear all drawing yeah i uh want to draw something okay we have uh just now our style pane on the side yeah and if you go to view tab on the view tab you can see this item what we call navigation pane yeah navigation pane and you have to check this box yeah you have to check this box um okay you have to check this box you check this box if you check this box okay you will see the appearance of something what we call navigation pane on your uh on your uh left yeah on your left i uh, use a red uh, red um box yeah red box okay so on your right you have style pane on your left you have navigation pane 
this is what we call PC setting. Yeah, PC setting. Later, I will help you to activate the developer tab. Yeah, so the next stage, not, uh, not at this stage. Yeah, all right. Now, <clears throat> what you should do, what you should do if you already have this style pane and navigation pane, okay, you need to understand some of the item on the style pane, some of the style on the style pane will make it appear, if you use it, will make the item here will appear on the navigation pane, right? I give you one example here. I put my cursor, my linking cursor on my name. I click on heading one, yeah? So now you see my, my name appear on navigation pane, yeah? These are the rules in Microsoft Word that already um, embed, yeah? embed in the style name heading one, that if you use it, not only the font size, the alignment, the line spacing, but it will appear on the navigation pane. This is not true if you use title, okay? The, 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 the style of the title is okay based on the setting here, but, it is not appear on the navigation pane, okay? So if I use heading one, I will get it in my, my, my father's name will appear on the navigation pane and my mother's name is appear on the navigation pane as well, right? So um, there are, now you know that there are certain setting, important, uh, certain set, uh, very important setting, um, that you can include on the style here that 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 particular setting will ensure some of the item appear on the navigation pane so our guide on our table of content listing uh, item page number item page number is based on navigation pane all right okay um, now, um, how to uh, put the number, you can go to home and put the number, you can use this one, okay, you can choose this one, yeah, uh, this is what we call material level list, yeah, and uh, put it here, right, so now you can get the number straight away, okay, the number is in the front of one, 1.1, 1 .1, okay, so if you uh, want to type something here, for example, I use random word. I use random word here, um, five, one, right? All right, if this one uh, will be the sub of my name, uh, I will get uh, 1.1 automatically, yeah? Right, 1.2 automatically, you don't have to worry about the numbering sequence, you know? For example, here you maybe by accident hit it first, yeah. So that uh, you want to make sure one point four is the first one. You can put your cursor here. You can click on heading two. These are the next stage, yeah, of uh, understanding how you can develop the 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 style on this uh, style pane. So what uh, what I'm trying to show you that is. Uh, not only uh, the setting of the font size, but the style as well can help you to have uh, the, the numbering system correctly, right? If I want to repeat the same stage, the same idea on the next one, yeah? R A and D. Okay, uh, this one is uh, 3.1, yeah? Hit enter, all right? Um, if I use this one, automatically I get 2.1. Automatically I get 2.2. Automatically I get 2.3. Okay. So um, the, the difficult part for you, if you want to do your own formatting, meaning that you have to create a proper style for your university. Okay, uh, if if every one of you, for example, yeah, every one of you from UPM, right? If you don't have the style like this on this side, 
every one of you need to understand what is style, create the style for UPM. You have to read teacher's guideline, try to understand how to make sure you get based on the teacher's guideline. And maybe for a strange reason, every one of you unable to produce it. Yeah. So the best, what is the best for you? The best for you is to ask them to produce the style for you. Okay. So that everyone can simply use the style that they wanted. Clear? <clears throat> okay. Now, on your, uh, on your, uh, on your uh, Dropbox, I already provide the template for UPM. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah, let me show you. The next step is where you already have the style and you want to use it. Okay. Okay. Now, oh, sorry. Okay. Very clear. All right. Now, um, uh, the next is uh, if you look at the, the, the folder that I gave you. For UPM one, uh, can you see uh, the the item uh, on the, that folder? Okay, I provide you one file name UPM template TNR underscore a uh, dash a four dash two twenty twenty version one point three. So the OTX, it is Microsoft Word template. Yeah. All right. Let, let me try to explain. Um, <clears throat> so the file that we use to store, the file that we use to store the style is uh, Microsoft Word template, yeah? Okay, now can you see my Explorer? I am showing my file Explorer now. Can you see it? Yes, good, good. Okay, I, I put the, the, the ink so that you can see it, okay. Now for UPM one, okay. For other than UPM, you still still you can you can get this idea. Can you say? Can you share the file here, please? Um, I provide you the link. The link just now. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, wait. I give you the link. Uh, Zaid, I provide you the link. Uh, you you can download from this link. Okay. Okay, got it. All right, good. Welcome. Okay. Now, um, oh, wait. I I show my screen again. Okay. Okay. Now, you already have this folder in front of you. On that folder, I provide you the slide for this uh, workshop. I I will help you to understand the other material, right? So look, um, the uh, template that I provide for UPM, all right? This is not from UPM, yeah? This is the one from your thesis guideline, number one. And number two, it is based on uh, my uh, communication with your, uh, you, with your student, yeah? With, with, with your UPM student already submitted, and graduated already. Okay. This is what we believe what they wanted. Okay. So um, this is the template, right? So in this template, we store the style. 